How to breed goldfish. Breeding goldfish is not as easy as it sounds. Creating the right environment for your goldfish, finding fertile mates, encouraging procreation and ensuring the correct incubation and birth of eggs are all essential steps in breeding goldfish. It can be time-consuming and expensive, so it's difficult to turn a profit on such ventures. However, if done correctly you may just surprise yourself. Like many tasks, the key is attention to detail and patience. Setting the right conditions for breeding. Plan far enough in advance. It takes a long time to create the right environment for mating. Buy your fish nearly a year in advance. July and August are the best months to purchase your fish, as goldfish like to breed during the spring. The first thing you want to do, assuming you already have a smaller tank that can hold at least 4 gallons, or 15 liters, is to clean your newly purchased breeders. By adding 80 eye drops of formaldehyde, 6 drops of copper sulfate and just one small measure of teramycin, you will be able to clean the goldfish in the tank to keep all healthy. Create the right tank environment. The tank you plan to breed them in should hold at least 20 gallons .7 liters of water. Additionally, add the necessary props for a natural-looking goldfish habitat. This normally includes natural or artificial bushy plants or fertile, sprawling fibers. When females lay their eggs, they usually anchor them to something solid. If you're going to let them breed naturally, you'll definitely want a lush environment. If you're going to breed them artificially, no plants are necessary, although they do improve quality of life and act as a great water filter when the fish are not breeding. Consider investing in spawning mops. Spawning mops are made of floating nylon string into which females send their eggs, too. You don't need spawning mops if you have plenty of brush, plants, or other fibrous material, but they're an easy, efficient way of safeguarding your goldfish eggs, as grown-up goldfish tend to eat any unsecured eggs. Start improving the diet of your goldfish. Without abruptly changing the diet of your goldfish, start introducing non-pellet food, such as brine shrimp or live blackworms, into their tanks. This simulates the natural bounty of springtime, when goldfish like to breed. A couple of pointers on feeding your goldfish in general. Feed your goldfish in small amounts but often. Feed them three times a day, being careful not to overfeed them. Many goldfish owners make the mistake of feeding their fish too much, the leftover scraps remain uneaten, sink to the bottom of the tank, decomposing and spoiling the water. No matter what you feed them, make sure you crumple it up small enough to fit in their mouths. Simulate spring by dropping the temperature and then making it gradually warmer. Goldfish breed in the spring, so you want to replicate the heating up of the water. To do this, first drop the temperature to between 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 12 degrees Celsius 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, when you're ready to breed, raise the temperature by 2 degrees Celsius 3 degrees Fahrenheit per day, until the temperature is between 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 23 degrees Celsius 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure you're cycling out water every day. A partial water change is important to the general well-being of your fish and in stimulating breeding conditions specifically. Remove as much as 20% of the water in your tank daily, being sure not to exceed this amount. Remember to add water conditioner to the water that you cycle into the tank. Conditioners neutralize chemicals harmful to your fish, as well as remove chlorine and counteract chloramines. 3. 